Oh my best man, Mr. Lelamsa. If he touch you, we shall lamasa. He touched you for a reason. Oh, he lamasa le hada. When the Holy Spirit touch you, lamaro ako na siya lamasa. He touch you to transform life. Oh, be lamasa to how will I? To do the impossible in you. Asan yama al mustahil lafi. Holy Spirit touch you, lamaro ako na siya lamasa. He will take you where you cannot. Oh, be shila le maha. Even dream about. Hita mahilip na fogo. Roh Al Kudus masih ada di dalam Sudan. Ignore the Holy Spirit. Is it a jahil atau Roh Al Kudus? You are ignoring life. Kita kata jahil, ya. The Holy Spirit, Roh Al Kudus, the Teacher, Muhammad, the Comforter, Muhaz, the Guide, Mursh, the True Friend, Sadiq Hadi. Spirit of sickness, spirit of depression, the spirit of poverty. I command you to live now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, in the beginning, I want to thank God for his love and mercies upon South Sudan. And we thank God for the Evangelical Churches of Ethiopia that is actually under the leadership of uh, our father, brother, Dr. Bete Mangist, who came uh, to South Sudan before Apostle Tamrat. And uh, Dr. Bete came and introduced Tamrat to us in this nation. We have seen the hand of God in the message of Apostle Tamrat. We have seen what God is doing in his life and many South Sudanese and especially those who came for the conference, God has blessed them and we have seen miracles and wonders have taken place. May the Lord continue to strengthen the relationship between Ethiopia and South Sudan, not only spiritually, even by even you know diplomatically and also in other in other parts. We thank God for all this. We are grateful for having the man of God in this land and we are planning to bring him back again. Thank you very much. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm very happy, I'm very, I'm very delighted today to testify about the goodness of the Lord. What the Lord has done through his servant, man of God, Apostle Tamrat. We are so happy and we are well to receive him. I'm one of the intercessors who have been praying for this program. And because in this program we have encountered God himself. I can recall one of his teaching, and that what touched me very much. He said that the Holy Spirit, it's not a dove. It's not only a dove, it's not only a fire, it's not only a power. The Holy Spirit is God himself. What I, what I like about men of God, Tamrat, whenever he says something, it's always true, he confirms it. You know, and also the way he, he speaks, you know, he speaks, very slow, you know, not, not like, you know, we used to, 
to, you know, whenever someone is speaking, with power, but he speak very quiet. But whenever he says something, it's accompanied by the touch of God. Whenever he speaks, you will see the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. You will feel and you will see the Holy Spirit is moving. This, that's what, what, what we have seen these two days. And today is the final, is the last day we're expecting more. You know, yesterday, all the testimonies that we have seen was all correct. And all the prophecies, we when he prophesied, we have seen it in action. And people have said that really this man is a man of God. That is why I'm very happy to see Ethiopians, our fellow brothers from Ethiopia, because they are from Kush, Kushite, and also we are from Kush. We are so happy because God is raising such a generation to go through all over the world. We are so thankful. So what I want to encourage you that, please believe in God and believe in his servants. Um, today I'm expecting something great here in South Sudan. South Sudan is so happy because he testified also and he said, he prophesied. We have been praying for the last week that God, we need a word. We need a prophetic word for our country. This is our prayer request as intercessors. And indeed, when he, when he came in the first day, he said, I'm coming with a word from God for South Sudan. South Sudan will have a new chapter. It's starting from that day when he arrived. And we are thankful because we have seen the hand of God and we have received the prophecy. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. I'm here to talk about uh, the program that is taking place about the encounter of the Holy Spirit by Apostle Tambrad, the man of God that came from Ethiopia. I just want to speak ordinary that I'm so much blessed to attend the conference of Apostle Tambrad. It is my first time, by the way, to listen to his preaching. My first time to see him even preaching. I've never like encountered with the, the preaching one day, even on the channels. I've never one day. I just heard about him. And it is so good that when he came and he started to speak, whatsoever that was spoken about him was so much right, like he's a true man of God. Whatsoever he spoke about God was so much amazing. And the way he operates in the will of God, in the way of God is so much impressive. I'm also a choir when I was seated in my place after praise and worship. He was speaking and he spoke about his life testimony. That what, what uh, touched my heart so much about his life testimony, how he began with God and how he gave God two options. Either God, you bless me and you make me something or you take me back, back home. I just love that kind of faith. As I young uh, youth of this country, I just got so much encouraged by this word. As he was preaching, my tears were flowing down. I was like, what is happening? And since he was preaching, encountering by the Holy Spirit or the encounter of the Holy Ghost, immediately the Spirit was touching my heart, was encouraging me that one day I will also be somebody. One day I will also do something. In a, a certain while, that was the second day of the conference, uh, he just uh, pointed me out like, uh, my daughter come. I came out, he, uh, he asked me, who's John? And I told him, this is John. And he was like, what is John to you? I, like, he's my boyfriend. And he's like, uh, may he take care of me, my ministry. And uh, may nothing hinder my way, neither him or something else to hinder my way. And he spoke about like, you will travel all over nations, you will sing all over nations, bless many hearts. And you are born for the glory of God. Since I came uh, to the ministry from the morning, I was just asking one thing from God that, what am I going to do in your ministry? Uh, what do you want me to be? How, how further will I extend in your will? And that was the answer of my prayers all day long. Uh, that's what I'm going to be in God, a great international singer as I'm a choir now. I got so much excited and I got so much blessed. And uh, number two, and he spoke about also John. That is my, uh, I don't want to say much, but that is John whom they prophesied about soon. My wedding will be held, oh, it will be done. My sister over there. Yes. Who is John to you? Who is he to her? Huh? Your boyfriend. Ah. You are exposed. <laughs> it was a secret? I can see. It was not a secret. No. It was not a secret. Thank no. God. Yeah. This 
young lady. She is born for the glory. If you don't allow her to be a minister of the Lord, you are going to stop on her purpose. And I see her singing all over the world. God is going to make her. I see you with big ministries like Hillsong, like Bethel Choir. You are going to sing with them. May the anointing of the Lord be on you. May the fire of the Holy Ghost be upon you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I just want to tell him one thing. I love him so much. He's a father, by the way. The way when he prophesies or when he prays, he does not lay hand. He hugs. And that shows a great comfort. Like It's a great comfort that came to my country. While he was preaching and doing all the things, I was just crying. I want to tell you, Apostle Sambrad, you are a great man of God. Since you came to the country, you never asked for a seed of prayer. And this is why I just believe you're a true man of God. You will not only change South Sudan, I have faith that, Father, one day I will also, on a certain channel, hear a great testimony in another country, same as I testified that you are a great man of God. Go further and may God bless you. My name is Oliver Chaplin and I'm the choir leader of, uh, of the program that I've just been concluded for the last uh, three days. And uh, we have been hearing about apostles, we have been watching him on TV, but finally we thank God for his life. We thank God for the Council of Evangelical Churches of South Sudan for conducting or for, for coming up with this program, for bringing Apostle here in South Sudan. We have been blessed by the program. And, and one thing that really touched me in the choir, you know, we are a group of choir who we have come from different churches. All the churches that are members of the Evangelical Churches, we came with one heart, with one spirit, just to be, to have the privilege to walk with the, with a great man of God like Apostle Cameron. And we had a great time in the presence of God. The man of God, he's a worshiper in himself, he's a singer, and he loves worship. He's a man who walks with the Holy Spirit. And I believe that God has done great things. One thing that really touched me about this man's ministry is that he came to really touch and impact, impact life. All the prophecies and all the word that came to people, he has really communicated and through the Spirit of God, he has located people who are really going through problems and solutions were provided. People were delivered from demons and a lot of healings have took place, miracles have took place and we have seen the power in the hand of God in this program. We want to thank God for the God of Apostle, we want to thank God for the Evangelical Churches of South Sudan, we want to thank God for this program and we believe many programs are coming, we believe many things God is going to do through the Apostles and we had the honor and the privilege to work with such a great man of God. We give glory to God, all the choirs are so happy, we are blessed and we have received something for our, for our lives and our ministry. Some of the choir members have received prophecies. We didn't know inside the choir we had international gospel singers but Apostle through the, to, to the Spirit of God came and located and gave word to some of our choir members and we are so happy, we are so privileged, we are, we are so grateful for such a program. We give glory to God in Jesus' name. Shikziaber Amlaki Tabarakayun, and Yagalaga Mohammed Barando, Bazi Badabu Sudan, no Magaleglo, Exaber Amlaki Tabarakayun, Bazi Badabu Sudan, Ye Exaber Somoto Bazi, Getan and Diagalekil, Nere Jim Gize, Badabu Sudan Church of Council at the other program, no, says the program, Zugzet and Lal Bazim in the light, Bazuas Alot Ratoch, Bazua Tatoch, Bazua Batoch. Apostle Tamra Tarak and Yorazim Dermato and Diagle Gracho, Narajim Gisitaba Bakunaper, Exaber Gizona Kanun Zari Adrgo, Bazibo Talet again to Agale Gural. But I'm a Migar Monagar, Bazim de la Buzu Exaber Agalegauch Maton Dagale Galu, Ya Council President of Chanagal Gauch, Yinna Grandu, Negergin, India Ainet, Yemen Fescus, Haile Magalet and Na, Manafis Toch, Bamidwitala, Lezel Alam, Lezamanati Sarutin, Mesawia. Lezemana to lead an Ankoyazu, but in Algiran it's a Brabat Gize, Yellam Blue Mascralu, Endagone by Nechalo, Exar Baziso Alfosisara, by Nechalo, and a young Mr. Kamen, Baziba de Musurana Lechuan, Ye Church of Council Abalania, Cabet Christian, Beta Christiana Tindagmo, Bazia Lechun Hebret, Ayiza, Cachach of Council Gartagal Gradage, and in Bazimir and Dalla Agalgai, Bazia goes like Taganichalo, Yazagot Akalin, Selezim, Exabre Saranagar by Nechalo. 
በዚህ አዳራሽ ብቻ ውስጥ አይደለም በዚህ ቦታ የሚነገረው የእግዚአብሔር ቃል አየሩን ምድርቷን ሞልቶት ነበር በዚህ ቦታ ሲጸለይ በሆስፒታል የተኙ ሰዎች በመንደራቸው ውስጥ ያሉ ሰዎች አይናቸው እውር የሆነ አይናቸው እንደበራ ተመስክሮ ይላል አንካሶች ሲዘሉ አይተናል ከብዙ ሰዎች መናፍስቶች ደግሞ ጮ ሲወጡ አይተናል ይሄ ልምድ ደግሞ በዚህ ምድር ላይ ብዙ አይታወቀም ስለዚህ በዚህ ሰዋልፎ እግዚአብሔር ይችን ምድር ወደ አዲስ ምራፍ እንዳሸጋግራ እኛ ያው ምስክርነን ስለዚህ እግዚአብሔር አምላክ አገልግሎቱን እንዲባርክ እንዲያሰፋ በአፍሪካ ምድር ደግሞ እጅግ ከፍ ባለ ግርማ ሞገስ እግዚአብሔር እንዲያቆመው ጸሎታችን ነው አፖስል ታምራት የሲጄቲፊ አገልግሎቶችና በዛ የሚሰሩ አገልግሎት በሙሉ እግዚአብሔር እንዲባርካችሁ ጸሎታችሁ ነኝ ጌታ ኢየሱስ ይባርካችሁ ደግሞም ከዚህ አልፎ የካውንስሉ ፕሬዝዳንት በዚህ ቦታ ላይ ቆሞ ሲናገሩ ነበር በዚህ ምድር ላይ እግዚአብሔር አዲስ ምራፍ እንደጀመረ የሀገራዊት እንቢት መጥቷል የግለሰብት እንቢት መጥቷል በሰዎች ላይ አዲስ የህይወት ለውጥ እንዲታይ ይሄ ያው ምስክር ሆኖ ለዛላ ለሚታወሳል ጌታ ኢየሱስ ይባርካችሁ ተባረኩ